Fuck that. That's, that sounds like too much work. Nightshing, take us into the intro. Hello. All right. Uh, so, Tony, uh, as of, what is it, May 16th, Overwatch will be out for an entire year, my guy. An entire year of just fucked up loot boxes, shitty, cancerous, competitive play. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Isn't it yours? Bro, you already know. That game's been my favorite. Did you did you just break your push to talk, by the way? No. No. Oh, it sounded like it for a second there. It was, like, so hard to hear you. <laughs> no, my finger got stuck. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm wondering what they're going to have for the first year um, for the anniversary edition of stuff, man. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I want to see some new skins. And I remember I showed you some skins earlier that um, would be some really, 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 like, dope skins to have in the game, you know? Yeah, I think it's going to be pure skins, to be honest. Uh, probably, like, I feel like the event's going to most likely revolve around people being able to get old skins from old events. Mm. That would make a lot of sense, because Jeff Kaplan was talking about that um, on a Reddit post not too long ago. He was saying how... I think he was responding to some somebody who was playing on either PS4 or, or whatever, and... On a console, basically, and they were saying, yeah, they don't have access to, you know, Heroes of the Storm, so they can't play because they don't have a PC that can run it. And uh, Jeff responded that, oh, yeah, we're intending to make, you know, various, uh, I'm just hitting this fucking thing, various skins available later on through regular loot boxes. So I'm assuming when he says regular loot boxes, I assume they're going to be like an event or something that would actually bring it. To where you can actually get all the previous Halloween stuff. Maybe they'll do it once a year where, like, it's the one time a year where you get to collect all the skins that you hadn't gotten already, you know? I can see them doing that, but I can see a lot of people not liking that either. Yeah, I'm wondering more so if they're going to release a new hero. That's what I would I would really like. I know. highly doubt they're going to do that. I think... Because, you know, they, they release heroes at the end of every season. So, it's like, oh, man, I, I would be expecting it, you know? Yeah, I, that makes actually that actually makes a lot of sense. But who would it be though? Because there's been three um, characters that got leaked now. I I would assume it would be Athena, because I like Athena. You think so? She, yeah, she throws down with the with the real niggas. I kind of wanted to be a uh, not Doomfist surprisingly, but Li Liao. I think his name is. Lao. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to be uh, him. He's like a bomb specialist, right? Uh, from what we, we don't know anything about him yet, because he, technically I, I he was just be reading dead. like uh, previous. Yeah, I was just reading previous bios and stuff on uh, when he betrayed Overwatch. That's what I was uh, reading up on, and how uh, he planted the explosives at. Um, I forgot which uh, watch was point. it when Reaper and Soldier got in a fight. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly when it was. So like the entire team was like worried about that, and then. I know Lau like blew up one of their headquarters or whatever, but I feel like he's framed. I feel like there's there's like something deeper to that. So I want you know, we'll I want to him see. to be released just because he's the other um, member Latino. No, he's the other founding member of Overwatch. Yeah, he's uh he's looking he's looking kind of dope. I, I just want to see another explosive user that uh, cheats the game and gets headshots just like Junkrat. I can't wait. It'd be interesting yeah, if he so. countered Junkrat though. I just want a counter to every fucking character in the game. Is that is that so hard to ask Bro, for? Bro, the fact that, like, I have to play Symmetra or Mer or um, May to counter them both, it pisses me off. Yeah, it's 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 gross. Like, there's a lot of problems with Overwatch. I, I remember me and Nightshing were talking about, so maybe that's what they're going to do for their anniversary edition. Fix the fucking game. How about that? Fix the fucking SSR system or SR system or whatever. There's no point in playing competitive. Like, at, at least yeah. I feel. There's, there's like no incentive to play it either like like hopefully we get some competitive skins like from now on like that'd be great i would love to fucking see that that'd be cool oh man see, if, i feel like I that'd wait. be a good i idea. would actually play more competitive now i'm only playing competitive just because it's something to do and i throw every single match so you know see i feel like that'd be a good idea but a lot of people would bitch about it and i mean a lot of people like maybe <clears throat> 
platinum and above wouldn't bitch about it but like gold silver and bronze would all bitch about it and there's more bronze silver and gold than there is of the other that's what I think is so crazy is like when they patch Overwatch, like Jeff Kaplan's like response is that, oh yeah, during higher play, uh, you know, like these characters are played less, so we're going to buff and nerf them. Like Jeff, you realize majority of people don't fucking play in the top 1%. That's so stupid. Why are you making changes based on the top 1%? Like, you're just fucking idiot. Like, so I, I, I'm hoping for a lot of changes to come to the game. I'm hoping they give Sombra a, a you know, damage buff. I hear she has um, more, I, I think she has the in the next event, like event six or whatever, I hear she has more um, unlocks than anybody else. So I, I'm, I definitely want to see what those are. She has uh, a couple new emotes, right? Yeah, she has a sit down emote and the laugh emote. And Orisa also is getting those two. But she's, oh, I, I'm, I'm so I think excited. she's getting the same amount as um, a certain certain amount of heroes like Hanzo, Zarya, um, Symmetra. They all, they are, they're all getting six or more. But if you count out oh, wow. the two voice lines and the spray, it should be around three stuff they get. So it's either a skin, okay. hopefully two skins, but realistically it's probably just gonna be one skin. Uh, an emo and a victory pose or okay, or okay. an intro that sounds lit i i fucks with it i fucks with it because i missed a lot of the intros that i actually wanted and i'm like really pissed about it so there's there's plenty of things i missed out on so i really hope this this anniversary edition really like you know gives me something that i want to possibly throw money at because you know the only thing i, I throw money at is Yu Gi Oh duel links so you know the, the only thing that's wrong with it though is because like i play on console and the only reason why I kind of don't even want to go to PC or I won't play as much is because I don't have my skins. And skins for me is a huge thing in a game. Like, if I don't have a skin for a character, it, it ruins the whole immersion for me. Yeah, I feel you. That's That was that was kind of a bummer when I switched from console to, to PC. It was just like, wow, I, I don't get any of my, you know, skins back. But, of course, you know, Jeff Kaplan didn't see my post on, on Reddit, you know, about me getting my uh, skins. At least give me my... You know what would have been nice is if I got either my skins or my level. Like, either one of those, because, like, when I first got started, I was playing with people who were, like, level zero. So they didn't know how to play the game. Here I am, a pro console player, be, be, basically, like, you know, I knew how to play the game. I can't say pro console player, but, you know, I'm like, I know how to play the game to fairly effectively. So... It's like I'm basically with all of these anchor weight teams and I can't I can't do anything and I have to, I'm forced to level up to a higher play so it's taken me forever to just get decent matches in quick play and stuff like that. So, you know, I would have liked to have my level because then at least I would have been fine. I I would have been okay with, you know, like playing higher level matches, you know, not guaranteeing that higher levels mean like better play. Cause obviously that's, that's definitely not a thing. You have idiots in all sorts of ranks and fucking tiers and shit. So it's pointless to say that, I guess, but it, give me my goddamn skins. That's, that's what I just want. Just give me my <clears throat> damn skins. Cause that's the only reason why I play this goddamn game. See, I understand the levels not being a thing because console and PC, are it's, it, they're its own game. I get that. But when it comes to the skins, it's like, that's not its own game everyone gets the same skins in pc and console so pretty much it it just it's just to the point where they just want to make it money. works you know what's so so interesting <clears throat> if it works for heroes of the storm like you can get skins from playing heroes of the storm on a completely different game that's not overwatch but you can get console and pc unlocks like there's there's no excuse why you can't have transferable skins Clearly, you had transferable skins when you unlock it. When you unlock Oni Genji, you have them both on console and on PC. So not only that, but it's not even like the worst part is that this is not even a new thing. Like Blizzard has been doing this for a while. Like I remember there was a mount that you get from playing their other game, their card game, and you got it for a mount in is WoW. It Gwent? No, it's not Gwent. Oh, oh, that's CD Projekt. Um, you would get a horse mount for for WoW. Or there was just another mount that you got a few months ago. If you played a certain amount of games, you got like a lava dog as a mount in WoW. What so the fuck? they've been doing this for a while. So them saying, oh yeah, we can't do it because 
I'm gonna stop you right there. That's bullshit because you've been doing this for a while. You know how to do it. It's just you just want to make more money. You want me to put down more money. I'm not like my fear is I'm gonna start playing PC and I'm still gonna be playing on console. And now I have to dish out like a hundred dollars each event because I want both skins. Everybody knows you don't get good skins unless you pay money. Exactly. Like that's the other thing. Thirteen boxes to get a, a legendary. And even then it's like or an epic, my bad. And then even then it's like you're not guaranteed an epic that you want or need. It's just like you know that one skin that you got the first like five levels you played? You're gonna get that. It's like fucking why? Well I don't need that in my life. Yeah, that's not okay. So, you know what? I, I won't... I, there was actually a point after this previous event, I was like, man, I, I was opening so many goddamn loot boxes that, like, I wasn't getting anything. And the few legendaries I was getting, like, every 30 loot boxes or so, it, it seemed like... It was like, man, okay, if I'm not getting anything decent, what's the purpose of me playing this game? Because I'm not have, having fun getting stressed out with all these cancerous people online and shit. It's just not... It's not worth it. There's no, there's no good trade-off. And so, all the other loot boxes I was getting were just garbage. Like, it, it, it was just utter gar garbage. The level of duplicates I was getting was just just un ridiculously unfair. So, you know what? I got to a point where I was just like, you know what? Maybe I don't want to play Overwatch anymore. And I'm almost at that point. The only reason why I'm still playing it now is because Nightshing encourages me to keep playing. So, if it wasn't for him, I, w I wouldn't be playing this game. That's for sure. I, had, uh, I took an entire month off of playing Nier just to play overwatch because they had a, a new event that i only got three skins for but i prestiged once already like and then once i did that i went through another like 50 levels so i, I think i was like at level 87 and then when the event ended i was like at level it, i think i was at my first prestige level 30 so yeah that's the thing that's the thing that really pisses me off about this game because me personally i can't stop because i've been playing it since the beginning since before since beta and i have all the skins except like tracer skin for the first event which you couldn't even buy it buy them at the time so i feel like i'm already too in it and if i go on pc that's like another a source of money that i can't just do so it's gonna get come to a point where i'll enjoy it more on console but i'll probably play it more competitive on on pc but since i don't have my skins it won't be that same thing. It, I won't feel that same um, immersion, I guess. Because when I see that I just have a basic ass skin, it just kind of like uh, it, it. It kind of deteriorates my my push to play the game. So, and it's funny that you say about the last event because the last event I put down actual real money. I put like I think eighty dollars. Ew! I put eighty dollars on it, and I got. Bastion's I got Bastion's skin like seven times I want to say I actually recorded it it shouldn't be seven it should be like around four or five not only that but I got it twice in one box that's that's happened to me before. and I looked at the game and I was like why am I playing this game that's so disrespectful, bro. bro like, for you to right? get like a legendary that you didn't want, <coughs> that you've already had, and it's a duplicate, and you get two of the same duplicates in the same fucking drop, that's that's bullshit. I was like, and it wouldn't bother me if they gave you half of the skin's worth. Because then it'd be like, all right, cool, like, it wasn't a complete waste of time. Like, if I got an epic, and it was like a Hanzo skin that I already had, it wouldn't bother me if they gave me 15 for it. Because then it'd be like, all right, cool. Like I'm halfway to another skin. And then when you get when you get duplicates, it's like you don't even get anything. Like like I remember at the beginning when Overwatch first came out, it was like, man, you know, you got like 500 points. I think like legendaries were like a thousand. And uh, in order to when you got a duplicate, you at least got half of the of how much like that legendary cost, which is 500. So you know when you get 500, it's like it's worth it to get duplicates. Like duplicates are actually worth something, you know. But I mean, aside from that, it's just like, fuck that shit. Why the fuck do I want all this bullshit? So, Overwatch just continues to be a game that's just like, you know you want to keep playing, but, like, you don't want to play at all because it's just like, you just feel like the decrepit bullshit that comes with this fucking game. There's just a lot of things that pissed me off about Overwatch. Like, they did a lot of good things right, don't get me wrong. 
but the majority of the things is just kind of it sucks the life out of me like one huge thing for me and i always say this when i see a shitty game play, like a shitty player of the game is they always prioritize the wrong player of the games i don't fucking know why it pisses me off like there's some characters that you just never see player of the games but i'm talking about something else I'm talking about some other shit. You talking about somber, bro? <laughs> no, I'm talking about. Somber. I know. I already know I'm you're a little about salty Anna. about not having somber play in the games. So many characters, like bro. I would love to use Anna, but since I have an Instagram where I post most of my player of the games and all this shit, I can't play with her because I I know I'll never get one. So I think no I've point. only ever seen one once, and that's when she first came out. Yeah, like try getting one with her, her now. Correctly, you're good luck, bro. No, it's not gonna happen. Unless you hit, like, three people that are about to die all in succession. Like, bro, come on, the fuck? Yeah, you grenade three people and they just happen to die and then you nano boost somebody, like... And then they get three kills, so... You gotta get a team wipe. I feel like, over, like, the team, like, Overwatch team just tries to, like... I feel like they play favorites a lot with their characters. Because some of the characters that have been buffed, buffed and nerfed, like, they didn't need to be buffed or nerfed. So I'm just like, what the fuck? I feel you. So I'm pretty That's sure there's some, someone in Overwatch who just loves Junkrat. And they presented, yo, Jeff, do you think we could do this buff? And he was like, fuck it, why not? I like him too. That was actually, that was actually like, a, uh, you know, that was something that I was looking forward to because I actually like playing as Junkrat. I don't mind that he can't kill himself with his own bombs. I wish I wish Farah could do it. That'd be that'd be nice if she could do it too. That's like, the thing. Like, if she didn't take damage. She shouldn't be able to take damage from her own at either that's what i'm saying like there's so many little injustices in the game that just kind of pisses me off too much like right, i'm really right, happy yeah. they haven't nerfed reaper and oh he's gonna he's gonna get a he's gonna get a swift nerf bro no he's not so. he's getting a buff right now he's just gonna get that reload buff but that's not that's not much of a buff bro like. i can't tell you how many times i've like wraithed out with no ammo and i'm just like i'm gonna die that shit's gonna be such a huge blessing but I think I think to just wrap <coughs> stuff up because we've been talking for like way 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 too long is uh what I would like for you know the anniversary you know besides a game of the year edition that's gonna come with ten loot boxes I think uh is uh you know just just fin fix the fucking game how about that that's that's what I want that's what I want from 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 uh, the anniversary so what about you I yeah honestly I probably would agree with you just fix the game because at this point in time I. I can only play like a few games and then I'm just kind of like, let's play something fun and then go to Titanfall 2 <laughs> or shit for honor. And the game's not even fun at all. Bro, so when for honor is looking better than disgusting. overwatch, then you know, you have a problem. Sorry. I'm going to watch dogs channel. I don't, <coughs> I don't ever have to deal with that. I'm sorry, bro. It's, I envy you. I envy you. Right. So anything else you want to add Tony before we get out of here? Give me some skins for my PC. That's all I want. Listen, bro. Bro, it's not happening. I want, I want some skins, some skins, please. <laughs> Nishing, anything to add before we, before we end today's video? Does it say typing? He's typing. Oh, okay. You're gonna be like, get money, fuck bitches. This game triggers me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it triggers us all. Yeah, I agree. All right. Well, thank you for having me, Jay. No, thank you for having me, Tony. Oh. I, I yes. Mm-hmm.